one we are going to learn how to download and install the BP Travel. I will show you really easy to follow steps to install WP Travel plugin from our WordPress plugin directory. Also I'll be discussing an alternative way to do so. And finally I'll show you how to add a new trip. So make sure to watch till the end. So first comes the method to download WP Travel plugin from our WordPress plugin directory. Simply head over to the plugin tab and then add new. Here on the top right side you can see a search bar where you can type WP Travel. After that you can see the plugin popping up from where you can simply install it. After installing the plugin you need to activate it by clicking on this blue activate button. Then you can see WP Travel in your plugins list as shown in here. So that was one way to do it. Let me show you an alternative way which involves downloading plugin zip file and uploading it in your WordPress setup. Just head over to the side displayed on your screen. Here you can see list of plugins and also a search bar. Click on the search bar and type WP Travel. You can see our plugin already showing up. Click on it which will direct to a page where you can see a download button. Click it and your download will start directly. After download is complete, go to your WordPress setup and navigate to plugins. And next, add new. On top left corner, you can see the upload plugin button. Click it and it will show up a choose file option. In here, you can select the download file from your local storage. After uploading, click on this install now button. Now that your installation process is done, you need to activate WP Travel plugin. You can do this by pressing this blue activate plugin button, which is available after installation. After activating, you will be able to see WP Travel plugin in your plugins list as highlighted in here, which means you are good to go. Now let's discuss how to add a new trip. After activation, you will get the menu trips in the activation panel. Under the trips menu, you will find the option new trip, which is going to help you create a new trip. After creating a trip, it's going to look something like this. And that pretty much wraps up. Hope you understood the process. If you still have any question, feel free to ask. See you in the next one. And until then, peace.